Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this memory issue for Premiere Pro. Um, it's pretty easy to fix, so try not to skip any steps. Okay, first you open Premiere Pro, and uh, Premiere Pro automatically creates cached files to improve performance, uh, but these files can accumulate and hog memory. So here's how to do it. Go to Edit, uh, go to Preferences, and then go to Media Cache. Now click on the delete button and delete all of the media cache files. Um, then after you've done that, we'll restart Premiere Pro to apply the changes. Uh, you also want to adjust the RAM allocation. So how do you do that? Uh, Premiere Pro requires a minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM, but works better with 16. So go back in the preferences menu and navigate to the memory tab. And for here, uh, you'll see that RAM reserved for other applications is six and RAM available for this is 26. Um, if you have more than 16 gigabytes of RAM, then you want to allocate at least 16. And if you have less than eight gigabytes of RAM, you want to consider upgrading your system to prevent memory issues. The next thing you want to do is close any unnecessary application files in the background. And the next step you want to do is uh, delete rendered files. So Adobe Premiere stores rendered files in a dedicated folder. So what you want to do is go to the sequence menu and select delete render files. And what this will do is this will uh, free up memory and potentially solve the issue. 